You're listening to Blues America. I'm your host, Drew Verbis, and I'm hanging out at the Chico Chisholm Memorial Studio in Phoenix, live with today's in-studio guest, the great Francine Reed. Francine, we talked about men, or, or maybe I should say the pitfalls of men, <laughs> <laughs> providing inspiration behind some of the material. Um, but right now we have uh, good loving women in the music bed. We heard and talked about wild-hearted women and girls got to do. So I think there's a strong message for women here as well. There we go. You know, it's it's that signature of girls pay attention so that that probably rings true with a lot of women hopefully with a lot of men too because they need to pay attention to what the girls are saying and what they're thinking <laughs> uh, uh, let's turn the spotlight onto your career what do you want to be when you grow up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd be a nurse when I was in second grade you know the teacher comes around and says you know so what do you want to be when you grow up I say a nurse you know <laughs> I wasn't thinking but I could sing then, but I didn't realize. You got to change. You got to change. Change your mind. Change your mind. Francine, one thing I love about your music and the distinctive vocal talent is the ability to hear different influences that make your sound so beautiful. Uh, this includes a little bit of soul, a little bit of gospel, a little bit of country. And a whole lot of blues. <laughs> uh, even though wild women don't get the blues, <laughs> I can imagine uh, what you have, you know, you, you can't teach this. It's got to be learned over a lifetime of music starting from the church. Let's talk about this journey uh, with your father singing gospel in Chicago, with the Mates of Harmony and the Crusaders. You've done some real history. Um, yeah, I've, I'd forgotten those, but I remember singing Crusaders. Uh, being the youngest of seven children, the youngest girl of seven children, daddy's groups rehearsed in the living room and we would, you know, have to sit down and be quiet, just pay attention and listen. And through all that listening, uh, we had this natural ability, being born to my dad, to sing. So what they were singing, we mocked. And Daddy taught us the songs that he was teaching his singing groups. And thus the Reed family singing together so many years uh, came into play. And this went on and on and on and on. And we, we don't do as much as that as we'd like to anymore. We've lost a few members of the family, including uh, the late, great Margot E. Reed. You know, singing a lot we did together, recording a lot. Not, didn't happen. Uh, we didn't have the wherewithal to record. Uh, and it's only been in recent years that uh, Bob Cortor and I put together the first Reed Family Blood Harmony album, which is a cappella. I love it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and that's really, you know, real recording. That's the only one we really have. But we certainly have sung together. We did so many Reed family Christmas shows and shows when so many of us were here in uh, Phoenix. And boy, we have so many memories. Phoenix has just been so good for us all. You know, I know I left 24 years ago, 23 years ago, but I've been back several times. But Phoenix musicians are, are who... Really gave me my stand. This little, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little, this little light of mine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little, this little light of mine, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it shine. This little, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Blues America, 50, 50 shades, 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 shades of blue, blue. It's Blues America, baby, 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 baby. Mm -hmm. baby. Hello, this is Big Lou. The Blues Foundation presents the Keeping the Blues Alive Awards to people and organizations that have made significant contributions to the blues world. The 
KBAs are awarded to people who make a difference in the non-performing aspects of the blues. You know, such as literature, videos, artists, and event promotion, and more. There are a lot of stars in the blues world, and the Blues Foundation wants to make sure we all know who they are. Learn more about keeping the blues alive at www.blues.org. Blues America. 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 Now that's America. some home cooking. Go out, Cindy Lordy. How shall I, Cindy Lordy? I'm gonna send me one by one Cause one was a little bit of baby All wrapped up in the manger Now what you gonna do? Francine Reed, my special guest today on Blues America. Her new album is out now. More information about today's program is available on bluesamerica.com. Francine, we started the conversation about your musical family. Uh, the Reed family name is a favorite in the Phoenix area. And a few years ago, you were able to finally record the family together with the release of Blood Harmony Acapella. It was released on Bob Korchor's local Southwest Musical Arts Foundation label. What can you tell me about this? Well, it was hard to get everybody together, I can tell you that much. And we hadn't sung these songs a lot, because everybody lived somewhere else. Melody was living in Kankakee or Mississippi, and I was in Atlanta, but Mike and Margo were here. So Bob Cortor, bless his heart, had he not come up with this idea, it it probably would never have happened. And we just rehearsed a little bit, trying to remember after so many years, because we're all so much older now, trying to remember the parts and the songs. So some songs didn't get on there because we just couldn't remember how the parts went. Plus, uh, my brother Tony, who died many, many moons ago, was that extra little thing that was missing that we couldn't figure out when we started rehearsing. We go, you know, how was that part? And you go, Tony was missing. So we couldn't try quite put him in there with the vocals. But mom and then my sister Laverne was she came in and she didn't sing very much with us at all. But boy she sure she saved us a lot. A whole lot. And for some reason somehow that day it was supposed to happen by the grace of God above, because, and then mom put in a little, she was there for all the recording, because we needed her, Absolutely. you know, she was the catalyst, she wasn't the singer, but she was the one that kept us all together, and we felt good doing that CD, oh God, it was wonderful, it all, it took, it didn't take very long. They're lying in a manger, they're lying a little stranger. Whom the people call Jesus. Francine, we're talking about the Reed family album, Blood, Harmony, Acapella, and Bob Corator had mentioned to me that one thing the listener um, can't hear is the tremendous effort that you provided with the arrangement. Is arranging the most difficult part? Yeah, it was. Because Margot used to be the one to do all that. But uh, she was getting on in her years... And so she just kind of gave it over to me, and I'm I'm doing what Margo would normally do. And my hands are up, and I'm directing it. Ooh, 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 and this we gotta stop here and do that. And she kept looking at me, and I'm going, "Am I supposed to just take over here?" But it worked out for some oh, wonderful reason, and we are so grateful for that because we grew up singing a cappella, and. And Margo and I and Michael are all very accustomed to uh, doing songs without music. And a lot of that stems from sometimes a band didn't know a song and people would request it. And I'd just say, well, we're going to give the band a break. I'm going to sing. Or you had a band that um, didn't want to play it or, <laughs> or for whatever reason. You, had, you did your song a cappella, period. Or if the band rehearsed and they messed up, I'll excuse them and do it by myself. I've seen Margot do shows alone because the piano player didn't show up. And you just sing everything by yourself. And I love that. Uh, I think that the two ways that a cappella groups start is either through the church 
or when the band doesn't show up. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You know it. You're a musician, obviously, so you know what I'm talking about. Taking you down to the crossroads. You ready? You ready? You ready? You're listening to Blues America. I'm your host, Drew Vervis, and I'm in the studio today with my special guest, the great Francine Reed. Now, Francine, despite being a local celebrity, your career really took off after joining four-time Grammy Award winner Lyle Lovett. Now, you've been a singing companion of his uh, as a member of the Lyle Lovett Large Band for many years, and you're also featured on uh, many of his recordings. Tell me the story about how this happened. Mm. Uh, you know, my career was never planned. Everything happened by chance, by the grace which I, I will bring up from time to time because that's the way I feel it had, did happen. Uh, Lyle was in Germany. I didn't know him. But I was hanging out a lot with J. David Sloan and the Rogues at Mr. Lucky's. And a lot of those musicians were musicians I worked with. A lot of them were jazz and blues musicians. So that band was comprised of some great musicians and they were in Germany at the same time as Lyle. Lyle liked them, they liked Lyle. They all came back home to the United States, Lyle being in Texas, and he wanted to record with this band because he loved them. So he came to Scottsdale and uh, the Mr. Lucky's band, J. David Sloan and Billy Williams and all of them, and they recorded at Chaton, and he asked them, did they know a female singer? And they brought Lyle to Chewy's. I sang in the studio the next day. The rest is history. Wow. I know. I, you know, I, I never knew it was going to go to. I just thought, here I go again. I'm singing background vocals for somebody, which I've done many times around the valley uh, in the studio. And uh, it was just, it was kind of magic. You know, Lyle... And I loved the way he sang, and I guess he liked the way I sang, too. And it just went on. Next thing I know, we're at Austin City Limits, and then we're on the road. Da -da 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 -da. To Blues America. Blues America. <laughs> More with this week's special guest, the star of the show, Francine Reed, when Blues America returns. But first, the Blind Boys of Alabama singing Mother's Children Have a Hard Time, a traditional blues standard by Blind Willie Johnson from the new tribute album on Alligator Records, God Don't Ever Change. Then the blues will continue at the break with Mike Zito and the Wheel on the high-energy rock and blues single, Get Out of Denver. And don't miss the Blues People soundbite featuring the voice of Sonny Boy Williamson, squeezed in between the next interview segment. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> this is Blues America distributed to radio stations from PRX, Public Radio Exchange. Damn right. Damn right. We got the blues. Brand new. Blues. blues. It's so shiny. Motherless children have a hard time when mother is gone. Mother is gone. Motherless children have a hard time when mother is gone. 